Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Combo Chaos, Permutations versus Combinations Cage Match. Guidance for Topic 6, DQ2. Yes, we're going to talk about the two, two different ways of counting. One is combinations, and one is permutations. Remember from your reading and from the text that a permutation is distinct number of items where order matters, okay? And a combination is a distinct number of items where order does not matter. Okay, so what we need to do is choose, first of all, in column B, oh, once again, remember, please type your name in cell C2. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, back down to permutations. You need to choose whether the item to the left in column A is a permutation or a combination. Remember, order matters with a permutation. Order does not matter with a combination. So let's take a look. All right. Notice the example says 30 horses ran in the Kentucky Derby. The exacta bet involves picking the first two horses in order. And notice that's a permutation. Notice then you need to describe how to calculate the number of outcomes, and then you need to calculate the number of outcomes in column D. Okay, let's go there first, then we'll carry on. So I'm going to do this example. This is just a drop down. You don't have to type anything. Hit the drop down and choose permutation. Notice it turns green. These cells don't change to gray because of all the different colors in this sheet, but the correct answer turns to green, all right, no matter what cell you're in, all right? So this is a permutation. How am I going to win this? I'm going to pick any four out of the 30 horses. Now, notice, everybody, this, again, is a random number generated uh, question. So therefore, your numbers will not be the same as mine. So don't copy my numbers. Check out the formulas, okay? So how would I count the number of ways this could occur. It's a permutation. So up there in column D in the TAN, it says use the permute or the combin. Okay, this is a permutation. So I'm going to type permute, open parentheses. How many do I have in my example? I have 30. And how many ways could I pick or choose four horses in this case to win because I'm looking at the first four finishes in order. So that's 30 combination four, and they are in order because it is a permutation, okay? Or vice versa, it's a permutation because order matters. All right, next. How, I want to describe how you can win, okay? In order to win, what must I do? I must pick the first four horses in order, right? First, second, third, and fourth all must be in the order in that I chose. Okay, that's my description. And what's the total number of ways that I could choose this? How many different outcomes are there? Well, there's only one, right? One because why? Because if I choose the first, second, third, and fourth horses in order, all four of them, there's no other way to do that but one way. So the answer is one. You don't have to choose a formula for this. You can simply type in one. Okay. Next, what is the probability that I win? Remember, probability is the number of successful outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. All right. So the number of successful outcomes is one. That's the number of ways I could win. All right. And what's the number of possible outcomes? It is the permutation, I counted back here, 65,000 something, right? So I take my number of ways I can win divided by the total number of possible outcomes, and that is my probability. All right. Next, everybody notice that I want to calculate odds. And the odds are, this says odds against winning. The odds against winning are the probability of not winning divided by the probability of winning. That's why the formula says one minus P. One minus P is the probability of not winning. So I would type equals parentheses, whoops, 
parentheses, one minus, again, helps if I put them in the right order here. Here we go. One minus, where was my probability of winning? It's right here in column G, okay? Close parentheses, divided by, that is forward slash, G14 again. And those are the odds against winning. The odds against are 657,719 to one, okay? So if you win that, that's what you call a lucky day, okay? Now, I'm going to do one more for you. I'm gonna do the one that's the most challenging. I'm gonna leave you guys with the others. Where are we gonna start? Before I did anything, everybody, I would choose, first of all, whether it's a permutation or a combination, right? That tells me how to go from here on. So I'm going to work, jump down and do this row. I don't know where yours will be. Mine is the fourth. It's wherever this gold cell is in column F, okay? Wherever that is, you follow my example to that. In a lottery game, 40 numbers, 40 numbered ping pong balls are put in a bin and five are randomly chosen. You'll get twice your money back if you match exactly three of the five numbers, okay? So I'm choosing three of the five. Now, remember, order does not matter. Why? Because all I'm doing is selecting ping pong balls. I could care less what order they come in. It doesn't matter. So this is a combination. And look, you only got two choices, right? Permutation or combination. Go ahead and do that first. Do all of them. Just read along with your question and just choose. Is it a permutation or a combination? Okay. Next, I'll let you think about how to describe. It tells you right there what I'm what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be matching three of the five winning numbers. Okay. That's that's how I calculate this. Okay. All right. Now. The total number of outcomes is a combination. I know that because I just counted it. I mean, I just uh, checked it right there back in column B, right? So I type in combin. All right. Combination. And now, what's the total number I have to work with? Mine is 40. Yours might not be 40. It could be anything, right? So I put in 40. And how many balls am I choosing from? Five, right? In other words, five are the winning ones. Five are randomly chosen. So I want to choose, I want to find out how many ways could I pick a group of five out of 40? That's my question. How many ways can I choose a group of five ping pong balls out of 40? So it's 40 combination five. All right, close parentheses, and I have my answer. All right, so now, if I want to win, right, if I want to win, in this example, I'm going to choose three of the five because I want to double my money, okay? So I want to choose three out of the five. That's how I can win this game according to my question. Once again, yours may be different. It may not be 40. It may not be five. So just pay careful attention to what yours says in column A. All right, next, how many ways can I win? Now, remember, I only win, in this case, if I choose three of the five correctly. So, first of all, I want to count how many ways, remember, it's a combination. How many ways could I get three from five? How many different combinations of, five, of three are there from a group of five? Okay, that's the first part. Once again, I'm using five and three because that's what mine says. Yours may say five and two, five and four. I don't know, okay? But that's not the correct answer because notice I have to choose five ping pong balls and I'm only choosing three of the correct ones. Therefore, I must choose two from the group that is not winning, right? Three, I'm choosing from the winning group of five. Two, I'm choosing from the losing group. All right, how many ways could I do that? Whoops, got to have my multiplication symbol in here. Otherwise, I'll get an error in my formula. 
All right. So I noticed everybody, I, I started out with 40. I don't know what yours is. I started out with 40. Five of them are winning. Therefore, how many are losing? Yeah, that's right. 40 minus five is 35. 35 of them are losing. Okay. And I already found out that I was going to choose three of the winning ones. Therefore, I must choose two of the losing ones. Okay. So I must choose two of the losing ones. Again, these numbers are mine. They may not be yours because this is a question that was derived with a random number generator. So don't follow my numbers. Follow the formulas. The first product is I'm choosing five from three. How many ways can I choose three of the ping pong balls from the five winning balls? Times, how many ways can I choose two of the ping pong balls from the losing group of 35? Okay, go ahead, hit enter. So I can do that 5,950 ways I could choose the winning ping pong balls. All right, so next, what is my probability of winning? My probability of winning is the number of successful outcomes. In other words, a win, right? That success, win. The number of successful outcomes divided by, that is forward slash, the total number of possible outcomes, which is in column D. And yes, everybody, that formula is the same. That probability formula is the same for every one of these answers in column G. So you could just copy, okay? All right, I'll show you. Look, if I delete that, I could go right up here. I could say control C and I could copy, all right? Or I could just drag down and I've got my answer. That's my probability. So it says I have a 90% probability of winning. Ah, nice, right? Very nice. All right, let's go to the last one. What are my odds against? Again, the odds against are the probability of not winning divided by the probability of winning. I could just grab this formula and drag it down for all of them, right? This is divided by zero because I haven't completed this, but my answer is correct. My odds of winning are 110 to one. My odds of winning are, okay? My odds against winning should be rather. All right, very good. We have taken care of this, everybody. Once again, you can copy some of these formulas as you're going. You cannot copy column D. Those formulas all depend upon the number of items you have back here in column A. So read yours carefully, watch the formulas, pause if you need to. But first of all, start by choosing column B answers. Is it a permutation? Is it a combination? Use the drop down. Look, if I choose this wrong, if I said combination, it's red, right? I don't want red, I want green. So you could go down through here and just choose these. And that would tell you exactly what formulas to use in column D. Again, your numbers are not the same as mine. Your games, even these will not be in the same order, okay? Mine, where I put the combination and the formula here for counting, this row might not be row 17 for you. It could be row 14. It could be anywhere. So beware of those things. This is a randomly generated question, okay? So be careful for the order and the number of items you have in your sets. All right, take care, everybody. I will see you guys in the forum. We can't have too much fun.